Question 25, expand the following. Well, I always find it helpful to remember what these, uh, what that means. Remember what 3x means. It means I have 3x's added together. Okay? So, similarly, what would 3, 2y subtract 5's mean? Well, it would mean a 2y subtract 5 added to a 2y subtract 5 added to a 2y subtract 5, right? And what have we got? Well, we've got a 2y, add another 2y, add another 2y is equal to 6y. And we've got negative 5, another negative 5, which would be negative 10, and another negative 5, which would be negative 15, or subtract 15. Okay, that's one way of thinking about it. The other way, sometimes you're told is to expand the brackets. You're told that 3, 2y, subtract 5. You're 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times 5 is 15, and we have a subtract sign. So that's another way of thinking about it. Factorise completely. Okay. F completely, and it's for two marks. So it means that we can factorise a number out, and we can factorise uh, something with algebra out. So let's deal with the numbers first. What's the biggest number we can think of that divides into 8 and 4? Four? 4. Okay. And also, look at the algebra now. We've got an x squared, which means x times x, and xy. Is there anything common in there? Well, there is an x. Okay? And now we open brackets. We've sort of taken them out of brackets. Now, what needs to go here to multiply by 4x to get 8x squared? Well, what do we need to multiply 4 by to get 8? 2. And what do we need to multiply x by to get x squared? Another x. We've got a plus sign. Okay. What do we need to multiply um, 4 by to get 4 here? Well, 1, just 1. And we've already got an x. The only thing we need here is a y. So that when we do 4x multiplied by y, we get 4xy. Make h the subject of the formula for part c. So the first thing we, we could do is we could multiply both sides by 10. This is g gh divided by 10. So if we times both sides by 10, we would have that 10 t's is equal to gh. And making h the subject of the formula means we want h by itself on one side. We've got h times g. Let's divide both sides by g, and we would get 10 t, and we can write like this, divided by g would therefore equal h. And so we write our answer as 10 t divided by g, and we're done.